um, I had I did match first, and then I just had decided to try that. Yeah, something had, different. Had someone recommended you to try eHarmony? At the time, I did not know anybody that had used online dating. Uh, and I actually saw the TV commercial that said, you know, the, the founder of the site, uh, Dr. Warren or whatever his name was, used to have run TV commercials all the time. But I didn't have anything to do on a Saturday you know, night, and I just sat down and started filling out the, the profile. I don't even think I finished it the first night. I had to save it and come I, I back. might find a match through this. Did, did that cross your mind? I went in with no expectations. Um, I just wanted to try something different. I had been in a relationship for ten and a half years prior to moving here. So it was just a way for me to get to know other people in the area. Definitely ready to settle down okay. um, and, and start a family and that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and how long after the two of you uh, signed on to eHarmony did you meet each other? Or did you connect with each other? It all off. I think it was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. The next morning on Monday, I had four oh. ma matches. Mm -hmm. And the next day, they sent three more. I think Melissa was one of the, in those first two days, one of the first matches that I was sent. But what you do is you go in and you communicate through the site and say, you know, I would like to get to know this person better. And they say, they do things like ask questions and they give you questions to choose from. And you go back and forth. And the, I think the reason we got paired up so quickly is she was like one of the, the first person to get back in touch with me. Uh -huh. Probably three or four weeks until we actually met in person. Okay. But, but it's we just talked on the phone and through instant messenger and mm -hmm. stuff. We we did. We talked on the computer mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing first. What did your your friends and family say after you joined the site and 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 were matched and everything seemed to be going great? What were their reactions? My father-in-law, her, her her dad was like, "Okay, y'all are compatible. When are you gonna get married?" <laughs> <laughs> it's our anniversary is in June, but we could sort of celebrate around the anniversary of when we met is mm -hmm. around okay. Super Bowl time every year. So. Okay. How soon after um, you met would you say you knew she was the one and you knew he was the one? I would say six months. Yeah, I was gonna say by that summer we we met in. Late January, early February of 2004, mm -hmm. and by, by that summer, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I had a friend of mine uh, recommended the site to me after his recent split up, and uh, decided to go out there and give it a shot. One night, decided to get on there and just kind of peruse it again, mm -hmm. and saw her profile, and saw where she liked photography and traveling and cooking and you know those are the three things that interest me so I figured I'd just send her a quick message mm -hmm. and you know see what she was all about it, um, it, I mean it asked a certain number of questions like um, what are you interested in right. you know what are your likes and dislikes and but the profile itself was a large box that you filled in a paragraph if you will mm -hmm. and you pretty much had free will to say what you wanted. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can do a search, like I want to search for a woman between 21 and 35 years old within 100 miles of me. And, and then sometimes that's... weekly, I believe it was weekly, um, yeah. you would get emails that say, we have found matches, right. maybe take a look at such and such. Right. The text messages were coming through, back and forth, back and forth, a couple of phone conversations. I was at work in blue jeans and a t-shirt, hair in a ponytail, no makeup. He's texting all day on Saturday and says, I think we should meet for dinner tonight. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> no makeup, hair in a ponytail, blue jeans, t-shirt. If he likes me like this, we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. So you had been on dates with others. Oh, yeah. Right. And they were disastrous or? Yeah. Uh, we, we're on camera. No, we're not going to go. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Now, how soon after you two met did you let your guard down? Um, usually about six months. Okay was yeah. kind of a general rule yeah. and uh, you know we just every time we got on phone or mm -hmm. whatever texting you know we always had something to talk about mm -hmm. whether it was you know our photography or our cooking or whatever we've always said we were going to have a uh, eggplant parmesan cook-off mm 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. We're still waiting on that one. Oh, yeah. Did your friends say when you said, hey, I met this great guy on Plenty of Fish, did, did they warn you, caution you, or Here what we go again. reactions? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> if he makes it to the third date, she'll probably keep him. And, uh, I mean, she was funny. She was fun to be with. You know, she had a gray head on her shoulder. She felt like someone, you know, if I needed advice, I could come to her for and you know, it was like after that six months and she was still that same person I was interested in online, you know, then I knew, she, you know, this is the real deal. Yeah.